everyone, Cindy Santa Ana, Integrative Nutritionist for the Haven Clinics and your Wellness Wednesday host. Today I'm talking about thyroid hormones. The thyroid is a butterfly shaped gland located in the front of our neck. It helps regulate many body functions by constantly releasing a steady flow of hormones into the bloodstream. It has a major role in metabolism and that's why we see folks with thyroid imbalances also have weight loss resistance. Our TSH, or thyroid stimulating hormone, tells your thyroid gland to make thyroid hormones. T4, the main hormone your thyroid makes, is mostly inactive and must be converted to T3 by the other tissues in the body, the kidney, liver, gut, etc. T3 influences our mood, menstrual periods, skin, gut health, and a whole lot more. A lack of conversion or low T3 can cause those typical thyroid symptoms that we see such as dry skin and hair loss, depression, constipation, fatigue, and so many more. So to help the body convert and make more T3, we need to one, exercise daily because exercise helps optimize all of our hormones. Two, eat selenium rich foods such as Brazil nuts and fish and spinach and sunflower seeds and pasture raised eggs. And three, eat zinc rich foods such as oysters, grass fed beef, raw pumpkin seeds and dark chocolate. Iodine is also one of the building blocks of T3 and T4 and we need to get this from our diet as well. The thyroid gland gets support from the pituitary gland as well. It tells the thyroid gland whether to release more or less hormones into the, into the bloodstream. So if I see someone who's under a lot of stress, the pituitary, we get what's called pituitary suppression and we see some low thyroid hormones as well. An overactive thyroid or hyperthyroidism occurs if the thyroid gland makes too many hormones. And an underactive thyroid or hypothyroidism is where the thyroid gland doesn't make enough hormones. Both of these imbalances can lead to a great number of symptoms. And there's also Hashimoto's thyroiditis and Graves' disease, which are two autoimmune thyroid disorders. So if you're experiencing any of the above symptoms, it's really important that you get a full thyroid panel, which includes testing your TSH, your total and free T3, your total and free T4, your reverse T3, and antithyroid globulin and anti-TPO. The latter two are testing for antibodies to the thyroid, which indicates an autoimmune disorder. So come see me at the Amen Clinics if you're having any issues with your thyroid, because this is something that this girl has dealt with since the age of 25. And at 52, I'm, I'm beating, it, beating it and taking care of it. So come see me at the Amen Clinics. Mm -hmm.